Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I'm actually going to cobble together some footage that I shot last week at the Mind Body Spirit Festival. Now I went to the festival just to check it out, just to see who's doing what, um, you know, what kind of new modalities are out there. I, I found some really interesting things actually. And yeah, I also thought it might just be an opportunity to try and experiment with some outdoor vlogging. And I've never done this before, so I apologize. And this also explains why I'm late in putting this video up because I actually thought to myself that the footage that I shot, I didn't even re-watch it, I just kind of came home and then the next day I was supposed to edit the film and I just thought to myself, no, but I was feeling nervous and I don't think the footage is very good and it's probably terrible and what's the point and my inner critic just wow did it come up in quite a profound way and today I have been putting together the June report and I actually re-watched some of the footage before deleting it and I thought to myself do you know what this isn't so bad like, this isn't completely terrible and I thought that you know there'll be some people who might be wanting to see what it was like in the Mind Body Spirit Festival in London, you know, what was the vibe like, uh, what were the people like, or, or just, you know, get a feel for what it's like to be there. And that's really, you know, what, what you can get from the footage. I rewatched it and I thought, you know, this isn't terrible. And I thought this video does suit the playlist Creative Astrology because in the video, I'm actually talking about what is the astrological build of an exhibition. Now, the part where I'm talking about this, there's actually this lady singing in the background, and I don't know if you can hear my voice at all, but, you know, I'm just going to put this video together and why not? So I'll just tell you now what I was explaining. I was basically explaining that the astrological build of an event like that is predominantly seventh house uh, of the other of you know that's Libra as well that's the merchants that's the weighing scales that's you get what you give that's commerce uh, it's partnerships it's contracts so it's definitely business and what else is it it's masses public fame and I also thought that it's 10th house activity as well because the 10th house you've got career fame honors you've got the spotlight and of course there was that lady behind me who was singing very loudly and drowning out my voice so I think I was explaining all this kind of thing there and I was also saying the fact that you've got Saturn and Mercury as dominance at an event like that as well Saturn uh, well I mean Mercury being the great salesperson being the great wordsmith uh, being able to communicate and you've got Saturn, you know, the material, physical world and the very practical elements of, you know, erecting stands and uh, bringing all your products there and, and, and selling them. So, yeah, it was a terrific day. And I was just there for a couple of hours. I'd just been to a meeting in London. Then I had another meeting to attend um, near where I live. A friend of mine, she's starting up her vegan hair care business. And it is so good. I was so impressed, actually. So that was amazing. And yeah, and I was there for a couple of hours and bought a couple of bits and uh, had a walk around and chatted with some people. And then I was on my way. So yeah. Uh, what follows is the footage from that event, so I hope you enjoy it. And don't worry, the content that's to come on the Creative Astrology playlist, I have got some really exciting things planned, so stay tuned. Uh, there will be other type things. I mean, my dream for this channel, before I go, I will tell you very quickly, I mean, gosh, what I'd love to be able to do is take the camera. Firstly, okay, okay, firstly, I want to get good at outdoor vlogging. I don't want to be nervous like you'll see in the footage that I'm about to show you. I'm a, I'm a bit nervous and I'm not, I don't think I'm very good at talking there. I'm a bit shy, but, um, but I had a go. Do you know what I mean? And, and for a first time doing it, 
it's it's not completely terrible. Um, but yeah, so I want to get good at vlogging outdoors. And then I want to be able to make like documentary style footage of, you know, places in India that are just so extraordinary. These physical structures, these giant physical structures that show the shadows and, and you know, you can read the time and the placement of the planets from those things and just these most amazing ancient structures that are there. You know, there is so much to see. So for me, I mean, I've got the time right now to be doing that kind of thing. What I don't have is the equipment or the money. So, <laughs> and then what will happen, I know what will happen. One day when I have the money, I won't have the time. So it's going to be this juggling act of all kinds of things but hey you know I've, I've definitely got some really cool plans for the creative astrology playlist on this channel so stay tuned for that cool stuff but I'll let you get to the footage now so you can see what I got up to last week and I apologize it is a bit late typical creative you know running late and um and what else was cool there? There is one really cool thing that I loved there. It was this, um, I think it was called the Great British Psychic Fair or something. And I don't know how good it looks on the footage, but when I went past it in person and I didn't have the camera on and I just went walk past it for the first time, honestly, my breath was taken away. It was so beautiful. These little tables look like a French cafe and two people sitting there. And, you know, it, it, it seriously looked like I was in Europe and it was um, this kind of romantic scene really it was very beautiful of uh people consulting psychics it was really cute so i hope you enjoy the footage and uh yeah stay tuned the creative astrology playlist as i say will have all kinds of different types of things coming up but this was just one little bit of experimental footage me learning how to vlog in public for the very first time so without further ado off we go to the festival And, and Pisces 
Pisces. This is a very Piscean event. And no doubt you'll see really cool outfits. Uh, I can see some right behind me right now. If I just turn around this way, you'll see some people wearing lovely, cool, spiritual, glowing, beautiful outfits. And yeah, I think this is, astrologically speaking, there's quite a lot of it. Dominant planets would be Mercury and Saturn. Uh, they work well together in, in a merchant-like capacity. And sales, Mercury, uh, giving information, taking information, all that kind of activity. So perhaps at some point I'll do a little bit of walking around and I'll show you guys what it's like here. But it's beautiful energy so far. And let's see what it's like. But I'm sorry, my hand's a little bit shaky. I'm trying to hold this. This camera still, it's really hard. All right, well, I'm boiling hot as well. It gets pretty hot in places like this. So I might do a bit of filming and then I'll see you next time. Value. It was labradorite. It's so beautiful. And yeah, normally the energy in exhibition halls can leave a person feeling pretty drained and tired. I probably do look a bit tired, but uh, that's because I've had a bit of a busy day running around. But the energy in there was actually really good. I'm impressed. Um, normally I get a big migraine when there's too much electronics or, you know, Exhibition centers can be a bit full on, but that was excellent. So I do recommend it to anyone who's interested in going. And yeah, it's just worth um, seeing what people are up to. So I'll let you go, but thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.